Uh, also, we're teaching you how to make piccata pasta salad Ooh. to go with your Memorial Day cookout. Sounds yeah. tasty. It really does. But first, what to make for Memorial Day weekend? Well, we have the perfect person from, uh, uh, first of all, Alicia Chabatone and Sin City Kitchen uh, yes. star. Thank you. Uh, you, got, you got the book. I got You're, the book. I trust you. Yes. I trust you with this. <laughs> uh, this, looks, this looks light and tasty. What do you got here? This is my piccata pasta salad. So a lot of people are familiar with chicken piccata, veal piccata. Yeah. But I decided to take the piccata flavors and put it into a pasta salad. And I actually created it for Italian Cookbook for Two as an alternative to mayonnaise-based pasta salads that can be heavy and also not so great in the heat for it this never, time of year. It doesn't look very appetizing. Well, yeah, it's very, very true. And yeah. it is National Salad Month. So ah. this is how we are celebrating piccata, piccata pasta salad. So this is bow tie pasta that I have pre-cooked and the dressing you're not gonna believe how simple this is okay this is melted butter all right and inside the melted butter we're gonna add a little bit of lemon juice okay and a little bit of extra virgin olive oil very nice and then of course our capers which is the signature ingredient for piccata oh okay I was gonna ask you that yeah yeah all right a little bit inside and then we just simply toss it together and dress the salad and then um, after we toss it, really in terms of garnish and adding just a little pop of freshness, I like to put some flat leaf parsley and then freshly ground black pepper. And that is as simple as it is wow. piccata pasta salad. Okay, okay, so explain what piccata is. You were just talking about the capers. Yes, yeah, so piccata actually means to pound thin. Ah. So that's actually a way to describe the preparation of the protein. So veal piccata, chicken piccata. Um, okay. But then it be, kind of became to be known as the sauce that goes on scallopini, which is very thinly pounded meat. Okay. Um, so it basically also refers to the butter, the capers, and something that's sauteed. So it's piccata yeah. style, just like you would say chicken parmesan. Jean, right. It's kind of like the adjective that describes the dish. You said you you uh, you pre-made the pasta. Pre-made the pasta. How long does that take? That's not that long, right? That's 13 minutes for this Easy. style of bow tie pasta. Farfalle. It's also so called farfalle. Right. Farfalle. <laughs> Why do Italians have such fun words? Even your last name, <laughs> Chefatone. And you probably in Italy they probably say Chefatone. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And it was the original. So this is kind of an Ellis Island thing with yeah. the S H. But yeah, right. it was originally with a C and an I and a couple of T's and oh, yeah. Wow. So. Okay. All right. Very very good. Um, and like this, for instance, how, many, how much does this feed right here? Do you think two, two, three people? Uh, well, it's a good hung, size hung, bowl. Hung, hungry Alicia, just one. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, probably about three to four as a side. Okay. Yeah. I just, I'm, I, yeah, I have to get my dimensions straight because I don't, I don't know the first thing about, yeah. you know, about how much to make for for a group. But all right, three or four. Two, that's yeah, I would say about okay. two or three ounces per person. If you have like a big feast with a lot of other dishes, okay. this is going to be more of a main. You're going to want, you know, five to six ounces of oh, it. Oh, I see yeah, you brought a so. fork. That's too bad. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, real quick, uh, before we go, where do pe people find you? Uh, find me on Dink Cuisine, and I'm actually going to be at Vegas Valley Winery for a pop-up oh. event on June 11th, so come see me. Mark your calendars. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Thanks, Alicia. Let's go out to the studio. Thanks, Jason.